Hi guys, it's Nathan, and today I'm going to show you how to build this fully automatic potion brewing machine in Minecraft. It makes 64 double chests of potions per hour, and it's expandable, so you can expand it. Like, over here I have one that makes 120 double chests of potions per hour. To make this machine, you'll need everything you see in this chest. It's not exact, it's just an estimate, but you'll need pretty much everything here and you'll probably have a little bit extra of some things. Now I'll show you how to build it. I'll start with the storage area. This is where the potions go when they are done being made. I'm going to make it 8 blocks wide and 5 blocks tall. That's kind of weird. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to put the hoppers in the back. All the hoppers should face in towards the chest, so the potions will go into the chest when they're done. After that, I'm going to go two blocks back with the hoppers, so it should look something like this. Now I'm going to put brewing stands on top of the hoppers, and then go three blocks back, just like this. And I'm going to do the same thing with the brewing stands and the hoppers one two three i did that two more times so now it looks like this we have four rows of brewing stands and all the hoppers should be facing that way every hopper i've placed so far should be facing that way towards the storage area now i'm going to make the water bottle loading area this is where you put in the water bottles and they go into this Brewing, brewing machine. Uh, so first I'm going to do it this. I'll have this hopper going down and then all of these should be facing that way. So just like that. Then a hopper facing this way then one going up and then just like that. So these should be facing that way. Now I'm going to place the chest, trap chest, and chest along here. And you can make this as big as you want. I just did three high on there, but I'd recommend making it at least five layers. Yeah, and then like this. And you just keep going as high as you want. There you go, I did four layers. That should be enough for most people. If you're planning on making a lot of potions, and you have a big storage and you don't want to refill the water bottles that often, then maybe add more, but four should be good. Now I'm going to put more hoppers in like this, and then do kind of the same thing I did down there, down there, of going down, and then these are all facing that way. Then I'm going to have some chests up here. I'm going to do it like this. And then have a chest there. You can do trap chests, but I prefer chests. And like that, and something like that. And then I'm actually going to do this again with trap chests. And this is where you'll put in the water bottles. Oops. There you go. So basically, you can load the water bottles up into these two, pull them up, put them in, pull them up, put them in, and then they'll get transferred down to here and fill up all these and then those will get transferred down to here fill up all these and then you can also put water bottles directly into here but i think it's easier go here now for the redstone we're going to take some blocks and put them under these hoppers just like this uh, so all of the hoppers that are under a broom stand should have blocks under them so i'll do it again on this side and you should do that four times. There you go, now all four sections have it. Put blocks under them. And then we're going to go two blocks down like this and put down more blocks. So one, two, just like that on all four. Now it should look something like this. Now I'm going to put a torch, a stone torch, on top of all of these blocks. Just like this. After that, I'm going to put some blocks like this, so just like that, under all four sections. Here we go, now it should look like that. 
After that, I'm going to take some repeaters and put them just like that on all four sections. Now I'm going to take redstone dust and put it behind all of the repeaters, just like this. Now I'm going to connect all of these so it actually works. I'm going to do this, 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 and that, and then just put redstone dust along here, just like that. Now I'm going to do the redstone on the top. I'm going to take redstone and put it along these hoppers. And this will go on all of the hoppers that lead into the green stand. So those, those, these, all those, um, and then all these. Now I'm going to take blocks and build two blocks away like this. Then I'm going to do this and this with the blocks and I'm going to connect these. Put repeaters here. And then redstone all along here. Now to connect this to it there. I'm going to go this way and then start going up like this. And then right, right here. And just like that. And I'm going to come down here and I'm actually going to get rid of this. Get rid of that, like that. So the bottom should look like that. Now we're going to make the timer, and that should be the last part. So I'm going to take hoppers and go under this and do it just like this. And this doesn't need to be in exactly this spot, you can put it somewhere else, but I'm putting it here. Then we're going to take pistons and go like the sticky pistons, make sure they're sticky pistons. Then comparator and a comparator and then a block and a block and then two things. This redstone and then the block of redstone. If you built it right, you should be able to put one or two items in there. It should do that. And the more items you have, the slower it'll go. So if you have like five or six items, it'll probably go pretty slowly. For this, you'll need 33 items in here. So just like that. I'm going to do the next part of the redstone. I'm going to do two like this, and then one, two, three repeaters, then one, two, three repeaters, then one, two, and three, and then we're going to put a sticky piston just like that, and these should all be on full amount of ticks. We're going to do this just on one tick, yes, or no, this is going to be on full, full amount of ticks. Now all we need to do is connect, the, or put a block here, and then connect this to this just like that and you will probably need a repeater there so it should look like that when you're done now i'm going to make the ingredient loading area just per piston or er, hoppers facing down above all of the brewing stands and then per chest just like that and these are single chests not double chests although you could do them double chest if you have a lot of ingredients to do them like that. Brewing stands in the back hold the, the nether wart, so you can just do double chests like this because you'll. I'm guessing that all of these will have nether wart. I don't think there is a first ingredient besides nether wart. I think all the potions start with nether wart. Now I'm going to put the ingredients in. Let's see, nether wart for the first one. I'm just going to do the first section on camera and then do it off camera. So I'm going to put some nether wart in there and that'll go to both of those brick stands. So this, this brick stand and this brick stand, not those. Then let's see, I think I'll make speed potions. So I need sugar and glowstone. Let's make spa splash speed two potions. So 
that will be another wart in the first ingredient, second ingredient, and the third ingredient. Okay, all the ingredients are done. These have again powder or another wart in them. The first two are making speed splash speed extended. And the second two are making strength two. The third two are making splash poison two. And then the last two are making night vision extended. Now all you need to do is add the water bottles in. So I'm just going to do it this way. If you're in creative mode, you can just do it like that. Do like three or four double chests to start with. We put them in here too. No matter where you put them, it'll go to all of them. So if you put them in here, it could end up being in this one. Okay, so I actually made a little mistake with this. Uh, these aren't all hitting the redstone signal. So I'm going to do... I'm going to do... Bring that to two. Then all of these should be at two ticks. So the first row, the second row... And then the third row should all be at two ticks. And then for the fourth row, I'm just going to do that. So just like that. And that should work. There's one more mistake I made, and that is that these don't get the signal. So I'm going to take redstone. And no, not there. Okay, so I'm going to take redstone and just do it like that. And now it should work perfectly. There's one more thing that I messed up on, and that is that you need 39 items in here. I think I said 33, but yeah, you need 39. After you do all that, the potion machines should start making potions. It's been running for not even a few minutes, like a minute and a half maybe, and they have some potions. Some of the chests have less or more, because I ran out of water bottles. I didn't put enough in there. Yeah, so make sure to put enough in. It doesn't really matter if you run out. It doesn't mess it up. If you run out of ingredients, that will make it make potions that aren't fully brewed, like maybe speed one or not splash or something like that. But yeah, if you run out of water bottles, just refill it and it should be fine. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, then like the video and comment on it and subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. That would be appreciated. And yeah, that's it. Bye.